the smiles and stone. Smile and stone, the input managers should seek to formulate strategy that match the demand of the external environment. And they divided people or, or companies into four types. The prospectors, defenders, analyzers, and reactors. Have you guys heard of these before? Uh, let's see, the prospectors here, uh, these people who are learning orientation, very flexible, fluid, decentralized structure, and they value creativity, risk-taking, and innovation. <laughs> Which company is like this? Yeah, we're talking about company that always come up with new products and services. Apple. Maybe Apple, some yes. people think, because they, they're the first people to bring in this iPhone. Yes. Okay. Uh, defenders, you're talking about companies that focus on efficiency orientation, very centralized authority, they're tight cost control, they emphasize on product, production efficiency, and they have low overhead. Low overhead, that means that they don't want, they, they don't spend a lot of much on the things that will not generate direct profits. They will not do much research and development. They will not, they will try to defend their position. Do you see? You know, whatever we do, let's focus on it and let's make it efficient and cheap so we can sell it. This way we stay in business. Let's focus on our cost and let's focus on our products to stay running. Beats, beats companies. Do you see? Because, you know, any company that always sell cheaper. Do you see a company that is always cheaper than everyone else? Samsung. Do you see? Uh, they're not always cheaper than everyone yes. else. You know, if you talk about, let's say, remember LG? Yes. Do you see? They try, for example, they sell TVs, and their TVs are always cheaper than everyone else. You see, and they try to defend their position on LG. You see, they don't have anything new. They don't do innovation. Do you see? Uh, let's see. Uh, let's see the analyzers. The analyzers, the people who balance, they balance efficiency and learning. So these people, they also do learning. Do you think LG? They still do learning. No. Maybe in TVs, they don't have anything new. But maybe they do innovation and in, and in, in maybe. I don't know, in their phones, do they have anything new? On <laughs> the, <laughs> they have some... Uh, even too expensive. Even too expensive? Okay. Okay, so maybe they also do some... So maybe it's not very clear cut, especially for these big companies that has a lot of... The mission of the company has changed in the past years. And the companies, sometimes they change yeah. over time. Okay. Okay. Did you guys see the advertisement for LG TV? You know, where they, they thought it was the window, while in fact it was a TV screen? Okay. And they have this tight cost controls with flexibility and adaptability. And those analyzers, they, uh, they will emphasize on creativity. Do you see? They do research and they do take risking for innovation. So if the company... Uh, so maybe LG will be here or, or Samsung. Do you think Samsung will also be analyzer? No. No. They're not analyzers. Okay. And then we've got this reactors. Uh, companies reactors. They don't have. They have no clue, clear organizational approach. Uh, they design characteristics may shift. Uh, abruptly depending on the current needs. So these people uh, will only respond to the market. So if something uh, in the market uh, make them do things, they will do. Otherwise, they won't do. Are you guys okay with this?